Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Stock My Closet. For today's project, I have taken 1.5 meter ajrak fabric. And this is the measurement I'm using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. Firstly, I'll cut the bodies and for that, I'll separate the body's length from the fabric. So take fabric lengthwise and fold it twice in width. And just cut out the uneven fabric from the top. Now I'll mark the body's length. That is 14 inch in my measurement. For this top, I need to deduct 1 inch from body's length. So I'll take body's length as 13 inch and I'll add 1 inch for seam allowance. So I'm marking point at 14 inch. Now I'll just cut it out. I'm making top for small size so I'll get front and back from one length but if you're making for medium or more than that sizes you need two lengths for bodies so take the fabric accordingly now I'll mark the measurements for shoulder take half of shoulder width in my measurement shoulder width is 13.5 inch so half of it is 6.75 inch neck width is 4 inch Mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope and join it to the neck width point. From this point, mark half of armhole round that is 7 inch in my measurement. I am deducting half inch as this is sleeveless top. Mark 1 inch inwards and again join it to the shoulder slope point. From the shoulder, mark a point at 10.5 inch shoulder to burst point and 13.5 inch shoulder to waist point now i'll mark the round measurements for chest i'm adding 2 inch of ease in my measurement chest round is 31 inch 31 plus 2 is 33 and dividing it by 4 i'll get 8.25 inch for burst i'm adding 3 inch of ease in my measurement burst round is 32 inch 32 plus 3 is 35 and dividing it by 4 I'll get 8.75 inch for waist again I'm adding 3 inch of ease in my measurement waist round is 28 inch 28 plus 3 is 31 and dividing it by 4 I'll get 7.75 inch now I'll join these points give slight curve to this pointed shape adding 1 inch for seam allowance now I'll draw front and back armhole curves so this is basic bodies marking now I'm making v-shape yoke bodies from waist mark 1.5 inch upwards and join these points and now I'll mark front and back necklines so neck width is 4 inch, front neck depth is 11 inch, adding half inch for seam allowance and join it straight to the neck width point. Back neck is 6 inch deep, adding half inch for seam allowance. Again mark neck width point 4 inch and join these points. Now I'll draw a round shape. So with this marking is complete, now I'll cut it. Leave 0.25 inch for seam allowance while cutting this shape. So I've cut it. Now I'll separate the back. Fold it again and now I'll cut front neckline and front armhole curve. So I've cut the bodies and this is how it looks. This is front bodies and this is back bodies. So I've cut the bodies, now I'll cut the bottom. I'm making gathered bottom and for that I need a rectangular piece of fabric. So I've taken two lengths, one for front and one for back and I've folded it by half in width. Length of bottom will be full length of 
dress minus body's length in my measurement full length is 35 inch and body's length is 13 inch so 35 minus 13 is 22 I have added 1 inch for seam allowance for gathers I have taken whole width of fabric this is 21 inch so full width will be 42 inch width depends on your choice of gathers if you want more volume more gathers just take whole width of fabric else you can just deduct it according to your choice and also other factor is type of fabric i prefer light bit fabric for gathered outfit so with this cutting of my tunic style kurti is complete now i'll stitch it firstly i'll finish the bottom round and on the opposite side i'll make basting stitch to add gathers just double fold the seam allowance and make a stitch on the inner edge Now I'll make a basting stitch on the opposite side. Just select the highest stitch length on your sewing machine and make a straight stitch. So I made a basting stitch and I have adjusted gathers according to the body's waist. Now I'll attach bodies and bottom. Just place the bodies on the bottom right sides together join both end points now pin it up now as you can see there is a difference because I cut yoke only on the body's waist so I'll just make a stitch in this shape and I'll trim the excess fabric of the bottom waist so I have trimmed the bottom waist now I'll overlock it Now keep the seam allowance direction towards the bodies and make a top stitch. Similarly, I'll finish the front bodies and bottom. So I have attached front bodies and bottom. Now I'll finish front and back neckline. So I have finished front and back neckline using bias tape. Now I'll stitch shoulder slope on both sides and I'll also finish armholes. So I finished armholes. Lastly I'll stitch side fitting seam on both sides. Similarly, I'll stitch the other side and with this my tunic top is ready and this is how it looks. You can pair it with denims, straight pants, culottes, whatever you want or you can also wear it as a dress. You can make variations in length as well. So I hope you like this pattern and it's a must try guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this pattern, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and do subscribe my channel for more such videos and I'll see you soon till then take care bye bye